Hello, this is Josh Lawrence with McElroy Manufacturing. Today, I'm going to talk about clearing and resetting a recon to factory settings. Make sure that you have downloaded anything that is pertinent, such as joint reports, because all this information will be gone when we are finished with this process. Hold the power button until the countdown timer reaches zero and the recon beeps twice. Immediately hit the Windows and the OK button at the same time, then release. After a few moments, a screen will come up warning you that you are about to erase all data. Hit the enter button as requested. The recon will reboot itself. Follow the on-screen instructions. Align the touch screen, then set the time and date. Skip the password section. Go to the download section of our website at www.mcelroy.com. Download the appropriate .cab file for your recon. If your recon says Pocket PC, it's a Recon 4. If it says TDS, it's a Recon 5. If it says Trimble, it is a Recon 6. Download the file to your desktop where it's easily accessible. Plug the recon into your desktop with a supplied cable. Let the unit connect via ActiveSync. As always, cancel out of the synchronization wizard. On your ActiveSync window, hit Explore. At this point, the recon works just like a flash disk. Copy the .cab file from your desktop and place it in the My Documents section of the recon. On the recon, tap Start and then Programs. Open up the File Explorer. Navigate to the My Documents folder. You should see the McElroy program there. Double tap the icon to run it and then follow the on-screen instructions. This process actually takes a few minutes, but we have sped the video up just for time's sake.
Congratulations, you're there. At this point, the recon is restored to factory settings. All that remains is to pair the Bluetooth on the recon and the data logger.